And uh, 2 Corinthians in chapter 8. Come on, bro. And verse 3. Come on. You know, I do have a little bit of history with you. Come on. Uh, as Emma and I met Corey and Megan and studied the Bible with them and wow. helped them to become Christians, which was so exciting for us. Oh, and uh, Corey has told us so much about you, so we, we feel like we know you. And you have an amazing reputation here in the new Metro Heights region. Wow. And we already feel about you as, as others do, and as is testified here in 2 Corinthians in chapter 8, verse 3, for I testify that they gave as much as they were able and even beyond their abilities. Uh, your reputation is that you guys exceed expectations, that you do more than, than people even expect you to, that, that you're a group that rises to the heights, and so the Metro Heights name is very appropriate for you. That through God, you're able to do things that are beyond your ability. Uh, in scripture, they call that doing things by faith. And so we appreciate that so much. Uh, that you consider it a privilege to be a Christian and to be here. And, and that was certainly expressed this morning in, in, in Jermaine and um, I can't remember the young lady's name, but uh, amazing sister and just the appreciation. And I hope all of you as disciples feel like that's your relationship with God and that's your relationship with the brothers and sisters in the fellowship. That's amazing. And so you have that reputation. And then here in verse uh, 7, he says, But just as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and in your love for us, see that you also excel in this grace of giving. All right. And really, giving really, really is a grace because it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. Amen, church? And how many of us like to be given to? And go ahead and raise your hand if you'd like to be given to. I, I know I do. You know, I, I love to be given to by God because nobody gives like God, right? And you know, for me, the last six months has been amazing. You know, six months ago, uh, uh, about eight months ago now, but that last uh, November, we had just completed a year of traveling over 200,000 miles around the world. And I was at a point spiritually where I just had nothing. If somebody would ask me for, for something to give, I would just pour sand in their hand because I had nothing to give. I had gotten spiritually burned out. After over a decade of no discipling in my life. And although God had had me responsible for over 10,000 people spanning the world, there was nobody in my life. There was nobody holding me accountable as a Christian. Come on, bro. One of the true tragedies of our old movement. Yeah, talk about it. And as a result, when, when I was really at my lowest low, there was nowhere to turn. God put it on my heart to just take six months and just step out of the ministry. And over those six months, I, I cried buckets of tears. Wrestled. Prayed. Fasted. Studied. Begging God to fill my heart back. One of the things that I realized very early on within the first couple of months is that my heart had just gotten cold. He said, well, how did you know that? Because after a couple of months of just being with God, it started heating up again. <laughs> and I thought it had to have been cold if it's getting hot again. <laughs> and I remember having a Bible study on reconciliation and, and I thought, you know, I haven't talked to my old friend Kip in 14 years. And I remember calling Kip up and just apologizing to him for pulling my heart away and, and not being there for him over the last 14 years and his arms were stretched wide open. A couple more months went 
went by and I realized that I could never go back to my old ministry. I could never go back to my old church because that was no longer the church that I was baptized into. True story. Any church that would allow you to go undisciplined for 10 years is not the church of Jesus Christ. I remember going to the first staff meeting and seeing all the brothers, meeting Tim for the first time. Tim's got that big burly smile and I remember just Tim running up and hugging me and just all the, the young brothers and sisters giving to me. It was so touching. And since I've made the transition here, I, I, I can't tell you how much Emma and I have been given to. And I want to thank so much the, the LA staff and Kip and everyone for all that they've given to me and Emma. We wouldn't be here today. And so now, my heart is hot again. I have something to give. forward along with them and our family to giving it to all of you. But what about you? How giving is your heart this morning? Come on. When you look back at all that God has done for you, when you look at all the incredible things that God has given you, does your heart well up to overflow? That you, you want to give back so much, it's just dripping out of you. You want to give back in relationships. You want to give back in service. You want to give back in leadership. And in order for the church to function, we have to give back out of our financial resources as well. Oh, yeah. 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 And at the end of the day, who gives us those resources? Uh -huh. I can't hear anybody. God. Uh -huh. God gives it to us, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And isn't it a wonderful thing that we can give back to God's ministry here on earth? Yeah. So today I want to encourage you with glad and sincere hearts, with overflowing hearts, to give back to God, and God will continue to give back to all of us. Amen, church. Amen. Father. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the incredible opportunity to give back to you. Yes. Lord, thank you for all of the promises that are associated with giving. That we can't outgive you. That Father, when we give to you. You're going to give back to us in unbelievable ways. Yes. Father, so many of our lives have been so blessed because we've been so faithful in our giving. And Father, I pray for all of us in this region that you would give us the unbelievable ability to give out of our abundance. Yes. Father, I pray that you would open doors, that you would show us how capable you are of allowing us to give in a great way to you. Bless our sacrifices today. Bless these resources. Let it be put to use to multiply this ministry in an incredible way for Jesus Christ. Father, we love you so much. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.